The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto, fifth chapter, text number one through eight, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September tenth, nineteen seventy three, in Stockholm, Sweden. So, Parabhavastavad Abodha Jato Javanna Jigyan Satanatma Tatyam Javat Kriya Stavad Idanga Mano Vai Karmatma Kang Jena Sharira Vandha So in the previous verse, Rishabdev has said that uh, this madness after sense gratification, nunang pramatta kurude, and uh, doing all kinds of sinful activities, uh, this is not good. Uh, actually, we can see, uh, you know, I daily say that during talking you should not cut, cut. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so, one may argue, especially those who are atheists, that uh, suppose we get a material body uh, and little miserable, Oh, what is wrong there? It will be finished. Then there will be no more pains and pleasure. There, that is the Buddhist theory that uh, the body is combination of matter and there is pains and pleasure. So make this body zero. Then there will be no more pains and pleasure. So Rishabdev answers this point. Uh, no, this body will be finished and you will have to accept another body. And so long you shall continue <coughs> to uh, accept one body after another, the miserable condition of material existence will continue. That from the beginning it was said that this body, human body, is not to be misused simply for sense gratification like the dogs and hogs. That was the beginning. <coughs> so therefore again he says, Parabhavastavadabodhajavata Javanna Jigyan Satvahatma Tattva. These rascals, they do not know that for want of knowledge of the soul, Atma Tattva, on the bodily concept of life, whatever they are doing, that is defeat. They are thinking now by scientific advancement we are able to go to the moon planet. Of course, I do not know whether they can go. Till now they are not successful, but at least they are tempting. So this is our achievement. But Rishabdev says, that is not your achievement, that is your defeat. It is your defeat. Why defeat? Because you cannot come to the moon planet or sun planet or any other planet like that. You are simply wasting your time. Just try to understand. Suppose we want to go to some foreign country, and if you think that uh, 
by force, uh, just like in England, uh, some Indians, they come by some, it's called smuggling method. Some underground smuggling. So, uh, that is uh, not allowed. You cannot go. The moon planet, uh, it, from the Shastra you understand that uh, nobody can go there unless he is fit. Uh, not only moon planet, any other planet, it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Janti Deva Brata Deva. The, these are higher planetary system. The demigods did there. So unless you are fit to live with the demigods, you cannot go there. Just like Krishna Loka, unless you make yourself fit to enter into the Krishna Loka, you cannot go by force. That's not possible. Just like to enter into some foreign country, you have to take visa, you have to take passport, immigration, then will be allowed. So such attempt uh, to go there, uh, and even if you go there, uh, you will be driven away. So what is the use of such attempt? Therefore, uh, this so-called, uh, <coughs> what is called, uh, excursion, uh, to attempt to go to some planet. You cannot stay there, neither will be allowed to enter. So this endeavor to go there by so-called scientific advancement is simply defeat. Because it will not be allowed. Neither you can go there. And actually it is happening so. What they have achieved so far, nothing, no tangible achievement. But they have spent millions of dollars, uh, Russia and America, to go to the uh, moon planet. And even if you go there, but after all you have to die, you have to give up this body. And after death you do not know where you will be placed. That is under the nature's hand. You cannot dictate that after death uh, I shall go to that planet or this planet. No. We are completely under the nature's control. Prakitikriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. Unless you are qualified. Uh, everyone is ambitious. Uh, but does it mean simply by becoming ambitious one can become very rich man or very respectable man? Uh, that is not possible. <coughs> one must qualify himself. Uh, so these are futile attempts. Uh, you have to act according to the... But they do not be, believe that there is higher authority, there is uh, judgment, uh, everything they think that it is blind, whatever you like we can do. That is not good. Parabhava. This is called liquid. Parabhava stavad abudhuja. So javadna jignasa was so long one is not inquisitive to understand what he is. Uh, without uh, understanding his identification, whatever he does, it is defeat. Uh, this is the condition. Nobody is interested to know uh, his identity. This is the instruction we get from Sanatana Goswami. Sanatana Goswami, when he first approached uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his question was uh, that uh, Kyami Kyanamari Japi Tapatra. This is very nice question. Yeah. Uh, kindly tell me what I am. 
what I am. And why I am subjected to the threefold miseries of material existence. I do not want all these miserable conditions of life, but I am forced to accept them. Therefore, what is my position? Why I am forced to accept? This should be the question. This is called Atmatatva Jignasa inquiry. What I am? Nobody knows what he is. Everyone thinks that I am this body. Therefore, he is abodhajat. From the very birth, he is a rascal. He does not know his identity. Uh, somebody is thinking I am American, somebody is thinking I am Englishman, somebody is thinking I am Indian. Uh, all these identification uh, are dogish identification. Just the dog is thinking I am this body. The cat is thinking I am this body. Similarly, uh, if a human being thinks like that, that I am this body, then he remains in ignorance. Abodhujat. And if you remain in ignorance, whatever you are acting as your credit, but you are acting in ignorance, therefore the achievement is not achievement, it is defeat. This is the one should be inquisitive. Just like Sanatana Goswami went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he asked, Sir, let me know what I am. Grammo Vavahare Kohaya Pandit. In ordinary behavior, people say that I am very learned man. They say, Panditji. The Brahman is addressed in India as Panditji. Panditji means very learned. So, Sanatana Goswami submitted that the general people, they say that I am very learned, but actually I do not know what I am. He admitted. So ask anybody, so-called scholar, doctor, PhD, DSC, yeah, just like that professor Kotai, he says, after finishing this body, everything is finished. He does not know what he is. This is the position. Therefore, uh, the so-called scholars, learned men, uh, whatever they are doing, they are being defeated because he does not know his identity. Uh, unless you know your identity, then how can you work for the goal of your life? Uh, if your identity is mistaken, then whatever you are doing, that is your defeat. Javat kriya astavat idanga mano vai karmatmakam jena sarira bandha. Everyone has got different types of mentality. So, karmatmakam means that is general mentality that I shall work very nice and I shall get money and I shall enjoy life. This is called karmātma. Uh, not only in this life, next life also, uh, they are trying, those who are uh, followers of Vedic ritualistic ceremony by punna-kārja. Punna-kārja means pious activities. The pious activity, that is also activity. Uh, so, According to our philosophy, we are not interested even in pious activity. We are not interested in impious activities. We are not interested even in pious activities. This is our position. Narkandas Thakur has sung, Karma kanda, gyano kanda, sakali visar bhanda, amrita baliya jiva khaya. Nana jani brahman kare, kadarja bhakkhan kare. By pious activities, you can get very nice birth, janma, isadja, suta, sri, four kinds of uh, material gain to get birth 
in a very aristocratic family or rich family, Janma Ishadja, to become very learned scholar, Sutta, and Sri, very beautiful. Just like you, American people or Western people, uh, you are supposed to be very learned, advanced in material science, uh, uh, also good-looking uh, and richer than other countries, Janma uh, Isajya, or birth in a very powerful nation or family. Uh, this can be accepted due to your past, past activities. Uh, but uh, suppose you have taken these opportunities for your past activities and somebody has taken birth in uh, Greenland. What is that, Greenland? Uh, always with snow. And uh, there are so many inconveniences. Or take your birth in Africa, uh, there, there is no, so no such facilities. They are not very good looking, not very learned scholars, uh, not birth is very nice, not aristocratic, not riches, poor. So, from spiritual point of view, both these kinds of facilities or inconvenience are one. Because when you take your birth, you have to enter within the womb of a mother and to stay uh, ten months in a packed up condition. Uh, not only ten months nowadays it is going on, uh, killing the child within the womb. Uh, even you cannot come out. Before you are coming out from the womb of your mother, you might be killed by your very mother or father. Because that moment is going on about time. So, uh, either you are in the womb of a very rich mother or a poor mother, or in the womb of a black mother or white mother or a learned mother or foolish mother, the pains of staying with the mother is the same. Uh, it is not that because you are in the womb of a rich mother, therefore there will be no pain of living within the womb, the same pain. The janma, then again, as soon as you accept some uh, material body, you will have to suffer the bodily pains and pleasure. Uh, then at the time of death, the same painful condition so it doesn't matter whether one is rich, one is poor, the material conditions, both of them will have to suffer. The material condition. So, uh, karmatma if you uh, continue to absorb your mind uh, in uh, fruitive activities, that I shall work and I shall get the result, and I shall enjoy. This is called karmasma. So if you do not fulfill your desire, then nature will give you next life, another body, to fulfill that desire. This is going on. So that, therefore, uh, it is parabhav. Your business is that to know that you are not this body, you are spirit soul part and parcel of God, uh, Krishna. So your real business is to become Krishna conscious fully and go back to home, back to Godhead, finish this business of repetition of birth and death. Uh, but we will understand this. Therefore it is said, Krishna je bhaje se One has, one who has understood what is the meaning of Krishna consciousness moment, uh, he must be very intelligent man. Without being intelligent man, nobody can understand what is the uh, purport, uh, what is the basic principle of this moment. 
the basic principle of this moment is to understand Krishna. Janma karma me dibbam jujana thi tattva. The result will be if you understand Krishna, what is Krishna, then the result will be that after giving up this body, you go to Krishna. Janti mat jajino pi maam. This devotional service, the worshiping Krishna in the temple to dress him, as I explained. Sri Vigraha Radhana Nityanana Singharata Navandhira Mahajanadu. All these occupational duties will help you to understand Krishna. Although it is very difficult to understand Krishna, but if you engage yourself in Krishna's service as they are prescribed in the shastras or by the spiritual master, then Krishna reveals to you what he is. And that is wanted. That is the perfection of your life. As soon as you understand Krishna, then you become fit to go back to home, back to Godhead, and finish this business of repeated birth and death. Mamupita kaunti ya dukkhalaya sasatam napnuvanti. This secret of success people do not know. Neither uh, they can understand. They are not fortunate enough. But it is our duty to push on this moment by superior order. Anyone will take uh, advantage of this moment. He will be saved from this reputation, birth and death. Uh, so the Shabdev says that uh, so long one's mind is absorbed in the conception that uh, I shall work as people are doing here. Industry, trade, uh, so many things. The real purpose is to gratify senses. So in this way, if people are engaged, then uh, he is parabhava. He is being defeated. Without understanding Krishna consciousness, without being Krishna conscious, it simply one wastes his time uh, for his fruitive activities, uh, then he is defeated. Parabhavastavada Bhūdha. Evaga manak karma basang prajunte abhidvaya upadhiyamāne. Ātman abhidvaya ātman upadhiyamāne. Preeti na javat mai basu devi namuchyate deha jogi na tava. So everyone is under this impression, wrong conception of life. But he can be saved if he somehow other becomes a devotee of basu devi Krishna. Preeti na javat mai basu devi. Vāsudevi Bhagavati, in the Sumatha Bhagavatam, it is said, Vāsudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojitaha Janayati Āsū Vairāgyam Gyanancha Jadahaitakam Vāsudevi, here is the same thing, Mai Vāsudevi, Rishabde is incarnation of Vāsudevi. So, in this entanglement, of birth and death, if someone comes in contact uh, with devotee, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Latabi, and gets the seed of devotional service, uh, uh, then that is the beginning of being saved from this reputation of birth and death. So, just like we are giving opportunities to the people in general, we are opening centers in different parts of the world. What is the purpose? The purpose is to give chance to every man how to become devotee of Vāsudeva Krishna. Then he will say, Javanna Priti Mai Vāsudeva, because people are struggling hard in this way. 
by working hard and getting the result for sense gratification and repetition of birth and death, in this struggle for existence, if somehow or other one gets the seed of devotional service to Vasudev, then he says, Javanna Priti Mai Vasudev. Evang manak karma vasang prajunti avidya atman upudhiyo mani. Pritin na javat mai vasudevi namuchati div jogi nata. Unless one becomes Krishna conscious, his repetition of birth and death and contacting another body from one body to another, that will continue. This is a basic principle of Krishna consciousness. Do not misunderstand Krishna consciousness. It is a kind of religious faith. It is a science. How to get release from this repetition of birth and death? This is science. It is not that as people accept a system of religion or other system of religion, and because a human being is supposed to accept some type of religion, uh, somebody is Hindu, somebody is Muslim, somebody is Christian. Uh, it is not that. It is a science. Uh, it is a science we are teaching that somehow or other you uh, uh, enhance your love for God, then you are saved. Uh, this is science. And how to enhance that love of God? Uh, that is our activities. Uh, to rise early in the morning, to offer Mangalarati, to dress the uh, deity, to offer him nice food stuff, to uh, observe festivals, uh, writing books, distributing them. These are activities and devotion and service that will save us from this repetition of birth and death. Otherwise, we are doomed. Uh, we, we have to continue this repetition of birth and death. <coughs> Abhidvaya uh, eva manushadu, this is Abhidya. By Abhidya, by uh, misunderstanding, without knowledge, being in ignorance, uh, manushadu, sometimes we are uh, human beings, sometimes cats, sometimes dogs, sometimes demigod, this is going on. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, we are wandering uh, throughout the whole universe, from um, one body to another, one planet to another. But somehow or other, if we are fortunate, uh, uh, they, they, this fortune is uh, made in this way. Uh, man is the architect of his own fortune. If somebody comes to our contact, if he tries to understand what is this Krishna consciousness, he is fortunate. His fortune, uh, because uh, he'll be saved from this reputation of birth and death. Uh, Bhidagavacharya says, therefore, Deva Manushadu uh, <coughs> Paradhika Deva Vishishta Tena Aha uh, Ahankara Mama uh, Upadhiyamane. I am now American, I am now Englishman. This is Ahanka, Upadhiyamane. Karma Vasana Mulaya Sang Sittama Mane Satyatma Ni Mana Karma Vasang. Prajunte Vyaparayati Purushamiti Sesha. Ato Javad Vasudeva Mai Priti, Priti Rupa Bhakti Nasha. Unless we become devotee of Vasudeva Krishna. Therefore, Krishna personally comes and he says, Sarvadharman Paritajya Mami Kang Saranang Baja. That is for your interest. Krishna says that you surrender unto me, it is not Krishna's interest. If you surrender not interest, Krishna does not do anything. He is uh, omnipotent. He can create millions of devotees like you by his desire. 
he doesn't canvass, he is not canvassing that you become my devotee and I shall be uh, very rich. No. Not the purpose. It is for your interest. Okay, something. Uh, if you become a devotee of Vasudev, then you are saved from this repetition of birth and death. It is not Krishna's interest. It is Krishna's interest in this way, because you are part and parcel, you are son of Krishna. Uh, Krishna is the Ahanga Bija Pudapita, as the father, a rich father. He does not like to see that his son will become a crazy, mad fellow and loiter in the street. He doesn't want it. Uh, but if you do not come back to home, there is no loss of the father. But if you go back to home of a rich father, then it is your interest. It is your interest. So Krishna is canvassing sarvadhanman paritajya mamekam saranam vaja. It is for our interest. So those who are fortunate, they will accept this offer of Krishna and Javad Vasudeva Mai Priti, Priti Rupa Bhakti. Priti means bhakti. Priti means love. So there is Priti Sandarbha by Srila Jiva Goswami. How one can become lover of Krishna? Sat Sandarbha. He has written six theses. Uh, one of them is the Priti Sandarbha. Krishna Sandarbha, Bhagavat Sandarbha, Six Sandarbha. A very highly philosophical book. So this Priti means Bhakti. Bhakti is not official transaction. Bhakti means Priti, real love. When I actually love Krishna, that is called Priti. Just like we love our beloved, our child, or husband or wife, that is also not uh, love, that is uh, a temporary sentiment. Actual love uh, is possible with Krishna, uh, that is actual love. Once you love Krishna, it cannot be broken at any time. It cannot be broken. Ready, any circumstances. Uh, so therefore, somehow or other, we have to Jena tena prakarena manap krishna nidhi sahet samarada. You uh, just engage yourself in loving Krishna. That is the success of life. Nakri balang jiha yoga matram api tu anarthan. Tarachityaha jadeti sathe sasya purushartha bhute sātma paramātma diha sammandha prajukte vipaschi viveki san jada sahasāna pasyati tadāsa upavān gata smiti. This is very important. Subject said, Jadana Pasyati Ajathaguni Haang Sarthi Pramatya Sahasa Vipasthi. So we have to become intelligent that guneha, guna, guna means these three gunas, goodness, three modes of material nature. Everyone is trying to love one of these three gunas, goodness, passion, and ignorance. That is material existence. Uh, somebody is trying to uh, become brahmana. That is goodness. And somebody is trying to become uh, a chhatriya, uh, brahman, chhatri, vaishya, sudra. These are under the influence of different modes of material nature. So even one is brāhmaṇa, he is also under the grip of material nature. And what to speak of? One is a sudra or less than a sudra. Everyone is trying to improve himself under the influence of certain modes of material nature. So when one becomes vipaschi, 
विवेकी विपस्थित मीन्स एनलाइट दीज माई एक्टिविटीज अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ डिफरेंट मोर्स ऑफ मेटीरियल नेचर दिस इज वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम इवन इफ आई बिकम ए ब्राह्मण दैट इज ऑल्सो वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम एंड वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ इफ आई बिकम ए क्षत्रिय पैशन एंड पैशन एंड दिस वैश्य दिस मार्केटाइल क्लास ऑफ मैन दे आर पैशन एंड इग्नोरेंस मिक्सचर दे आर वेरी एक्टिव i am very running i am very busy uh, but running here and there in ignorance just like you see the monkey monkey is always very busy uh, but what is the meaning of his busyness he is in ignorance uh, as soon as a monkey comes we have no such disturbance in india as soon as a monkey comes everyone uh, wants to drive him away because he has come to become business and to make some loss that's all that is it Where are you sitting? No, that is. He is not uh, at all uh, well, uh, silent. He is always active. But because he is monkey, monkey is a, a symbol or ass. They are symbol of ignorance. Uh, therefore, such kind of business is useless. It is simply harmful. <coughs> so when one comes to understand that this my business, this my goodness, uh, everything. Uh, it is all useless unless I become uh, attached. I am I, I am a devotee of Vasudev Krishna. All these attempts are simply uh, futile attempts. Uh, that is enlightenment. Uh, when one understands, yes, my only business is to surrender to Krishna, to love Krishna. Then he is to be understood. He is enlightened. He is educated. ब्रह्मांड भविति को भगवान दैट इज फॉर्चुनेदान पश्यति अजिथा गुणी हा सार्थी परमत्त इट डज नॉट नो हिज इंटरेस्ट नति विदु सार्थ गति विष्णु दे डू नॉट नो दैट माई सार्थ माई इंटरेस्ट माई गोल ऑफ लाइफ इज टू लव टू फाइंड आउट गॉड एंड टू लव दैट इज माई रियल इंटरेस्ट सो आज सो लॉ one is uh, not uh, enlightened to the standard of life uh, then he is defeated then uh, how is defeated gatasmriti gatasmriti vinnati tatra tapan asad maithunna magar magga he remains agga foolish and what is his happiness his happiness is sex life that's all that is his happiness. Maithun Navagar, he is in the prison house of this material nature, uh, but he does not know that I am in prison. He is uh, simply enjoying the uh, three things: udaram bhrita, udaram bhrita, the tongue, the uh, belly, and the genital. Uh, that is stated here. Gata smriti bin nati and to enjoy this material, he has to undergo so much tribulation, tapa bin nati. Therefore, Govinda Das thinks, "Si ta ya ta pa ba ta badi ishana, e din to jami ni jagi re, bi phale se binu kri pa na dura jana, cha pa la sukha la bol lagi." In this country, there is no fall. Still, people will have to go to work very hard day and night. Uh, but why? Why they are accepting such hard labor? Somebody is coming from India in this country. The climate is not very suitable in comparison to India. But they have come here to work hard. Why? That sex pleasure. That's all. You get money and you have home and sex pleasure. Or tongue pleasure, so that would be said. Gata smriti, actual. He actually he is forgotten. His own business he has forgotten, but he is entrapped by a process of uh, sense gratification. Although it is very great hardship and miserable condition, but he is satisfied because uh, this sense gratification is there.
गतस्मृति तत्र तापान आसाध्य मैथुन मगारम अग्न बिकॉज ही इज फूल इज देर फॉर ही लाइक्स टू बी इन प्रिजेंट सिंपली फॉर सेंस गैटिफिकेशन यू नो दी एलिफेंट इज कैप्चर्ड फॉर सेंस गैटिफिकेशन यू नो दैट एलिफेंट इज कैप्चर्ड बिग एलिफेंट टू कैप्चर इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट ए फीमेल एलिफेंट गोज दैर एंड ही कान फॉर सेक्स एंड the female elephant goes forward then she brings in a place where there is a big pit and the he falls down the male elephant and then he becomes captured yes. these are the nature's uh, example how uh, for uh, and not only sex just like uh, the bees uh, they enter into the lotus flower for eating uh, honey and and they enjoy in the meantime the lotus flower petals become closed uh, so he becomes entrapped cannot come out dies the fish uh, the fish how the tackle you know you have seen the what is called tackle fish eh huh? Tackle. Tackle, yeah. Tackle, yes. Uh, what is that? And there is a small, attractive food stuff, and the fish comes, and as soon as it swallows, that's the capture. Uh, uh, similarly, the deer, they are also captured by the hunter. He plays nice flute, and the deer stand up. Uh, they are very much fond of music. Uh, So as soon as they start to enter, <coughs> so the one animal are lower than human being. They have got one sense very strong. Someone's the ear, someone's the uh, nose, the someone's the tongue, someone's the genital in this way. But they have got one sense strong. And we, the so-called civilized man, our six senses are all strong. Uh, so what is the position? Uh, so unless one becomes Krishna conscious, he is doomed. Uh, so many senses: uh, tongue is taking him to the hotel, ear is taking to the musical, uh, eyes is taking the beautiful thing to see. In this way, we are uh, embarrassed in so many ways. Uh, that is called my uh, thunna magar mag. He has forgotten his real business. But he is entrapped uh, in a pot or in a place uh, where sense gratification is very there. Pungshan siyami thuni bhava me tat sayur mithari dayaganti mahu atak grihachhe tusitap mithai. So this mithuni bhava, the sense enjoyment is very strong. Uh, so the, there are two sexes. Uh, male and female, and each one of them are attracted by sense gratification. In this way, ata kriya chetu sutap bhutti, then uh, uh, they become attached to griho uh, because they must live in an apartment. Uh, they must have some land. Griha chetra everywhere there is going on. In this way, uh, they become entrapped, uh, and Krishna consciousness moment <coughs> means. Uh, but those who are Krishna conscious, for them it is not and they are vigilant. The my real business is Krishna consciousness, but it is a license given to me for sense gratification, for grihastha. But we should not forget our real business and entrapped in this material nature. That should be our business. Thank you. Thank you.